Lifting of color from paper is one of the basic watercolor technique. I'm going to show you how easy and useful it is in painting this ceramic pot. Okay, first we are going to put these objects in this space. So I'm going to use a very light color. Uh, it can be any color you want to start with. I'm going to let go some of the water too much. So I'm going to tap this. I'm going to see what's going to be the top. I'm going to put the top around here. If you want to use pencil, and go for it to use pencil because it's easier to erase with pencil powdery. You will feel a little bit more uh, secure with the pencil. But um, the watercolor is very similar. Because you, see, you can use water to erase the mark. If that's a little bit too long, I'm going to I'm going to make it a little shorter. Gonna come in down here like that. And the bottom probably only here. Like that. And then I add the the two handle, the ear on both sides. Is that similar to pencil, isn't it? Like that. So the other thing I want you guys to be to be a little more brave, you know, is it's not that scary watercolor. If you think it's scary, it would be scary. So if you don't want to be scary, think it is easy. Okay, now the top over here, and that's the top opening. It's about like this. So at the bottom, I'm going to erase it. So I'm just going to use the water to let that go. A little softer, it's fine. Okay. So I'm going to let go the excess, the leftover wet. Um, all right, next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the dark color from the top to the bottom. Um, I could leave the three yellow spots, but instead, I want to just going to do it the simple way. I'm going to show you just put the color all over the place and then start lifting up those space. And you know how easy to use uh, lifting up in wa with watercolor. Okay, now let's mix some dark colors. What's the, the dark color, uh, the majority color? I think it's more like a dark purple color, is that right? Mm. Uh, you know, with the three primary colors, you can mix any color you like. Okay, now this is looks like that color. Get a little bit more because I want to mix, uh, mix a little bit more colors, so. Now you should know how much water you need um, when you are mixing the color. And if the too dry is difficult, uh, let's see, starting from the top over here. Now, I know this spot, uh, later we need to make it even darker. So, that's for now. Because that, this, this white gap, is so light, so I'm going to keep that to be white for now. Let's see, I think it's a little bit wider. Okay, coming down this way and over here, I'm gonna leave a little gap. Okay, coming on this side this. Now coming down here, look again and again of the reference. Okay, And a little bit outside a little bit and looking for the shape. Now 
Now, keep going. We need color a little bit darker, so I'm going to come back to mix a little bit more this red and the present blue. Okay, now keep it going. Now, let's see. Now, even though I've already put there a soft outline as my watercolor drawing, when I'm draw, I still want to double check. I want to look at it again every time when I am painting. So looking, coming down here, and like this. And this demonstration, this lesson, this exercise, is uh, all about lifting off. So use the lifting off. You can do a lot of lots of amazing things. I just want you to get um, used to the watercolor unique technique. I think this can come out a little more. What we are doing now is doing a flat shape. The shape is pretty flat, right? Because this is no darker and lighter areas. They are very much the same colors all over the place. It's almost making this area look like a flat gray, dark gray paper. And I might make it a little, a little bit darker. Simple. Now the only th between two colors. And then I'm going to make this a little curve. There's also a flat called flat wash that we are making wash into this space. Try to make it look flat. Okay, now we're painting into the ear. Okay, one. Now let's see. Okay, move. Watch as you paint. One side. You might want to make it darker. So I'm going to, how to make it darker, the same color, but a little less water, right? Okay, coming back here. Now that's good, this side. I'm going to come back to the other side. It's a reflected, um, okay, let's pay attention. Move that like this. Okay. Now move again. Look again. And when you do the drawing with pencil, you're very much the same process. You need to look and carefully and record the line. Like this. Now the flat color has been applied to this. Now we're going to take a couple minutes break and then we're going to come to the next step. And now it's about 80% dry. I want to use this one inch flat brush. It's my favorite one. What I like to do, I'm going to first wet the brush. Now where I'm going to start, I'm going to start the top over here because this area a little bit lighter. So you use a big brush but you don't have to use the whole brush all the time. So just, so I just use the corner starward. I'll come down here. Add a little bit more water. So you can actually draw the area first before you do this. Because here, I'm drawing with my brush. Draw the shape instead of draw the line. Now coming over here, this area a little bit lighter. Now I only use the corner now. Now coming down here, now connect with this shape. I draw the light shape. You see the light shape? It's a little bit lighter too. 
Okay, now it's one. Now coming over here, I can see two spots. A little lighter. I'm going to use the brush sideways so I don't have the, the full brush. Now this is a little bit lighter. What I want you to look for is where is lighter, where is darker. Now I'm going to come down over here. Now a little lighter here. Here you go. Two, and move that this way. It's the pattern. Now you can see, now I have some lighter area. Start with the flat shape. Now I get a little lighter, lighter area. So as soon as I have the light and dark, the item is going to look three dimensional. Now, good. Now I'm going to move it on this side a little bit soft. And you don't have to scratch the paper, okay? Don't scratch the paper, especially Strutmore uh, watercolor paper is not that strong. If you scratch it, it will become hairy. Now I'm going to come to this side. Again, only use the tip of my brush. So you need to know when you're going to use the full brush, when you're going to use only part of the brush. All right, good. Make it a little bit lighter now. And loosen the color on the paper like this. Now, getting there. Can I use the smaller brush to do this lifting? Yeah, you can, but you can create a lot of texture, a tedious textures because the brush is small. Whenever you can use the big brush, use the big brush. And now I'm going to come up over here. I'm going to do a little lifting on the top. When you do watercolor, I want you to take your time. Enjoy that process. Now I'm going to lift the color a little bit on the top. Now make this a little bit softer. Like that. A little softer in the top. Just use the side. Use the brush side the way. And here I want to be, make it a little two spot a little bit lighter. See how easy. Now the rest I need to use a smaller brush. Now I'm going to use this number 12 because the area that I want to lift up is smaller. So I'm going to start from the top. Oh, first the bottom over here I want to lift up those wet. Get lots of wet the bottom over here. So lift it up. Okay, now I'll come back to the top, right? Here you go. Over here. It looks too sharp, but if I lift up a little color, it would look like there's some dimension there. It's not a sharp. Okay, now I'm going to come in here. You see that? There is also a small area here. You can use that, the number 12 brush, to lift up this area. That's good. Now I come to this side. Start over here. I can lift up that small gap with a smaller brush. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. Okay, that's good. And also here, I can lift up a little bit. Good. So when you're lifting up, you are drawing the light shape. And drawing the light shape is pretty easy. Just like that. And I have a little gap over here, not much. And come to this side. And the top over here too is a little lighter on the top over here. Who did that? Okay. 
Okay, now let's continue. Now I want to have this a little bit more wider. Okay, now it's good. Now let's come back on this side. It has a little little light over here, small, very small. Just take that out and have a little bit coming to this side, right in the middle. Okay, here you go. And I add a little shape in here, like that. And what about on this side? I'm gonna add a little texture over here. Not so much, just a little bit texture. Now, good. Now on the bottom over here, I also want to clear out a little space for the yellow color I'm going to add here. A little bit like that. Right, supposed to be just a flat paper. Now we're making it to a lot more uh, different values now in between, between light and dark. I want to remove this. It's pretty easy to remove it. Just use the big brush and soften it. We haven't lift up the three yellow dots. So okay, the first one is from here right here. Let me see. I don't have to one just lift up clearly, I can gradually lift it up, make it lighter and lighter. First thing, I want to draw it first, draw the area, and the second one is about here, right? About here, here you go. You don't have to make it like a perfect circle, okay, right here. And the last one is about here, look at it. Where is it? Right here. Okay. Right here, this part. Okay, that's good. That's the location. And I think that's the size. Maybe this one can be a little bit bigger. So we draw that, expand the area a little bit bigger. Now it's good. Now I'm going to start lifting up the space, make it lighter. Okay. One. It has some texture now created, but it's good. Like because it's a whole uh, ceramic is, is full of texture, right? Now on here, now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to loosen the area. And then I'm going to lift up the colors. Here you go. Now I lift it up. Maybe the top should be a little lighter. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time on the top. That's good. Now I come down to this shape. It actually, the top over here is really light, so I'm going to spend more time and lift up the top edge. Like this. It's good. So this is the magic of the lifting up technique. And since we're doing this, and waiting for that to be dry. I'm gonna do the catch the shadow right now. So I'm gonna use a little this color, that kind of like a gray, warm, purple color, a little bit more blue. I'm gonna use the blue color over here and I'm gonna add that a little color here, a soft. How to make it soft. And we're going to use water to have it gradually blend uh, and over here also have a little bit gray color. 
because the lighting is very soft. It's not like a have a strong directional. Okay, now I'm gonna come here, use the just the clean brush. You see that? You can make something look soft by soften the edge. Okay, good. Now it's good. Now we can come back to walk into the darker area. So, you know, this translucent watercolor, the second time even use the same colors, the color will be darker, right? Because it accumulate uh, the pigment together. So let's see. And I'm gonna get the red. And I'm gonna get a little bit more from this side and get the uh, present blue, it's my favorite blue colors. Okay, this color pretty dark. And now I'm gonna start from the top. Okay, now this time I need to pay good attention to it, looking for the details. Okay. And I'm going to leave a little bit Okay, suggest so that there's something over there. Now, take a look. If anything you want to leave it, keep it. Right, good. That's the top. Now I'm gonna have a little bit lighter. I'm gonna get a little bit more red. Now on the top over here, now here you go. Okay, going around. Look before you paint. Okay, like that. It's a little bit darker here too. Let's see. There's a little come in a little bit more. And actually the corner over here come out a little bit. Oh, this is good. All right, let's, we're gonna change the colors. And down here have a little bit more blue than red. So I'm gonna add, just add a little bit more blue into this mixture. Now what I want to do See the color, a little bit more blue. And actually connect with that too. Now come down. And this is gonna be, if I'm gonna add the dark color next to it, it's going to merge that together. So I'm not gonna do that now. So I'm gonna go to this side. Uh, I'm gonna keep a little color on the ear. That's a little bit too much. I'm gonna get rid of that a little bit. Okay, I know that color is a little bit too light. Uh, what we're gonna do after it totally dry, I can glaze over a little blue color and then fix the problem. So now we're gonna keep going with this dark colors. Hey, right. okay. Look, now I'm gonna draw this this side, actually a little bit darker. I'm gonna draw a little darker color in here. Okay, coming down over here, good. And in this area, a little bit darker, like that. Good, I'm going to draw this shadow. Actually, the reflection or the cast to shadow onto this area. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna come in around over here, make it a little bit darker. Okay, like that. And a little texture over here. And a little bit darker over here. Coming to this side. Keep comparing the value. How dark is it? Okay. 
and coming to this side. And the same. I'm going to go around over here. Okay, the refraction. Coming down here. That's good. Now I'm going to. Good. Probably need a little bit darker. So I'm going to get a little bit more blue, get a little bit more red. Okay, here you go. Go around here, a little bit darker. Okay. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom over here, give a little texture, a little small details. And at the bottom, I'm going to give a little, those are the gap between the ceramic and the table. Like that. For now, I'm going to start working into the yellow area. So the yellow areas, it looks like gold, but actually you can see that it's yellow color. I'm going to take this color. It doesn't need to be so bright, so I'm going to just tap on it and like this. And you have to have this light in order to fill in the, the light. You cannot put the yellow color on top of a dark color. You know what's going to happen. The colors won't show it as a light unless you have like opaque colors. Really, really thick. But still, that's not the way that we paint watercolor. Now we put this a little brown colors in here. I'm going to come here. Uh, that probably that too much. So I'm going to lift up a little color like that. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to come back over there to get the, just the yellow color. Okay, just the yellow color on the top over here. There you go. It's very simple, right? So now I have a little soft edge, which is fine. I'm going to get this little brownish colors. I'm going to tap on it. Have like that. Now I'm going to come back here to get the brown color again for this side. Actually, a little bit more red, this color. I'm going to put it. A little bit right on the edge here. Like that. A little bit over here. But I have to make the three of them look the same. Okay, soften that a little bit. And I can make that a little yellow color extra on the side over here. So I leave that top over in the middle is lighter. So those kind of things by using a different value, you can control how it looks. Okay, it's almost there, but the whole thing looks a little bit too light. Now, I'm going to use this one inch brush. And I'm going to start working into here. And it actually have a little bit more blue than red. So I'm going to just use a pretty thin color, start over here. Here we go. Like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little bit over here. Now the color darker. This is called glaze over called overlay glazing, overlay wash. It just put the color in. This. And coming over there, like this. 
Now the whole thing is much darker. And the top, I want to make it even darker. So, the painting is coming along. Put it easily. And the top over here, I want to make it even darker. So you know, when you would use a smaller brush, when you would use a bigger brush, it has different advantage. It has the reason. Now, here, in the middle over here, it's a little bit softer. I so said, use my brush, just soften it. But I want to keep it a little light, okay? Like that. This painting is almost done, except there is a little catch to shadow on the edge. We can do that after the whole thing dry. It will be very easy for that. And the bottom over here, I'm gonna add a little bit yellow and make the sense of the gold. A little bit, just a little. Because it's still wet, so I just put the color, tap into it. So actually, we squeeze uh, the other color around so it can have a little gold feeling. I'm gonna use this palette knife. As you're gonna see, Wait until you drive. I'm gonna add a little details, pop up a little bit. Now we come to the last step. I'm gonna pick up a little dark color, just on the edge over here, so that it's showing the shape actually is stand out. A little texture there, a little bit, and also. I want to put a little darker color in between. Okay. Okay. Over here. There we go. Good. And the top over here, I can wash it to make it a little lighter. And then this painting is completed.